Welcome to Game Reviews and More, this is Mr. DC Entertainment, and today I'm bringing you a Kill Confirmed game on Baccarat, maybe? I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, but this is a pretty fun gameplay. Um, I've been I've been having uh, some trouble earlier in the day, and uh, I took a little break and came back to it, and uh, was just really on fire. And uh, I don't know if you guys have seen many Moab, uh, Moab, Moab, Moab videos, Mother of All Bomb videos. Uh, but you're about to see one. This is a uh, a, a hidden kill streak that you can only get uh, using uh, your gun, uh, knives, and your lethal, you know, attachment. So it's like it, it's it's really really difficult to get. You have to there's no kill streak assist at all. Um, any kills that you get with your kill streaks do not count towards it. So this is going to be kind of a uh, tips and tricks and uh, kind of just kind of general talk about the gameplay, about the game, uh, kind of uh, my thoughts and ideas about mobs or moabs, and uh, yeah, so uh, first things first, let's start off with, um, you know, I love Kill Confirmed. Kill Confirmed is a great game type to get something like this because, first of all, it lasts a little bit longer than a regular TDM game, and Domination game can get pretty hectic, there's just all sorts of traffic and things going on, and uh, uh, so this game's a little bit more controlled, a little easier to control the situations. Uh, that you know, this particular map has a lot of different, uh, you know, different routes and different paths around, and so it's really easy to maneuver around people and get behind them and kind of flank the whole time. And that's really going to be how you get this kind of kill streak. I don't think you're ever going to be able to get. I mean, you might be able to get a mob or Moab. Uh, sitting in one place and kind of camping one building the whole game but but it's really unlikely just because of this the the one re the fact that you have to get so many kills in that one area to make it count like the game generally your game is going to be over fairly quickly uh you know it's generally it's going to be a you know a six to ten minute game um and the game's going to be over so you have to be able to get a lot of kills in a short amount of time and when you're sitting in one location, you're relying on the enemy team to come to you over and over and over again. And 25 kills without kill streak assist is a huge number. So, so I really feel like the best way to get it, this kill streak, this hidden kill streak, is to to flank the outsides of the maps. And that's what I'm doing here. You know, I don't like to go into the middle. I do a couple of times just to uh, avoid long line of sights because you know those snipers in this game are incredibly powerful. So I like to kind of stay away from the long stretches where those guys like to sit down. Um, but, but you know, in general, I just kind of flink around the outside and try and try and shoot them in the back, try and get them where they don't expect me. As for as far as my kill streak layout, um, I have in a game type like this, um, I went in solo, so I'm not worried about really helping my team. Uh, I just decided to go with the specialist kill streak. Which if you, I'm mean, sure you guys are aware of it, but I'm gonna go over it anyways. What it is, you start out with your standard three kill streaks uh, or perks, and then uh, each perk that you get, each every two kills, you unlock a new perk, and that's really beneficial because once you hit eight kills, you unlock every perk available to you. So if you have everything pro, you're gonna have every single perk pro, and there's there's pros and cons to that because. For instance, uh, Stalker. I'm not that familiar with Stalker, so when when I get that, it takes me a kill or two to adjust to that, you know, fast moving speed as you aim down sight. So I mean, honestly, I wish there was a way to make it so you like tell it not to pick a certain perk because that would be one I probably didn't pick. Um, I, but then again, at the same time, it's beneficial in certain situations. So <laughs> oh, this is a pretty fun spot. I tap that guy and come out here and I get a couple of shots off. I'm like, ah, oh, I should have killed him. But I pulled back because, you know, he had a long range rifle and there was no way I was going to win that fight if I popped back out. So I kind of pulled back and played it safe a little bit. Um, and yeah, <laughs> it, I, I love this game. Um, Modern Warfare 3 in general has been really, really a delight. Uh, it either goes really good or really bad for you, I feel like. I feel like there's really no in between. It's either I'm getting like 5.0 KDs or like 1.2 KDs and there's no in between uh, but that's okay you know that's just the way the maps play out it's a really close quarters high paced game but uh, back to the Moab the Moab what it does there's a lot of confusion about it uh, there's when you get it 
and you call it in. It's a 25 kill streak with Hardline. It's 24, so I end up getting 24 kills. And uh, what it is is when you call it in, it kills the entire enemy team. It EMPs them for a full minute, and then your team get the team that calls in the MOB or the MOAB gets double experience for the rest of this game, so for the remainder of the game. So this game in particular was pretty fun, uh, just because I, I happened to be running dual experience as it was, and then I'm playing this game type, which gives you a crazy amount of experience, especially running um, specialist, because you get a specialist bonus, you get a bonus for each perk you unlock, you get a, you know, <laughs> you just get tons of experience for each tag you pick up, or if you kill a person and an enemy, a teammate picks up the tag, you get points. I mean, this game type is just a great way to level, and the... My favorite layout for the specialist is what I'm running right now. It's uh, extreme conditioning as my tier one. It, then it's um, uh, hardline as tier two, and dead silence as tier three. And my first unlock is, I believe, assassin. Then uh, scavenger, and then sleight of hand are all my layouts. And those, that's pretty much my favorite favorite loadout for specialists just because um, you know when you get a kill uh, it's gonna give you that first perk immediately so I'm invis invisible to radar after my first kill because I'm running hard line and then I get two more kills and I start getting extra ammo so I don't have to worry about ammo anymore and I get two more kills and I can you know reload quicker so <laughs> I, I think it works out really well um, there I'm um, there's Tons of different layouts that you can choose depending on your play style, your perks, the guns you use. Uh, personally, I'm a huge fan of the submachine guns. The PP90 M1 is probably my favorite, though granted I haven't played with all of them. I've spent quite a bit of time with the P90 and it's okay. Uh, there's you know good things and bad things. It's got a crazy ra uh, rate of fire, but the um, the draw up rate, the time it takes to pull up your gun, is like 0.83 seconds so eight tenths of a second versus like this submachine gun which is half a second and then you get quick draw and it's like much quicker so it's like that three quarters of a se that or three tenths of a second that you know third of a second that it takes to pull up your gun in this game that's all it takes man if you're a third of a second behind the person in front of you that's shooting at you you're dead there's, there's no question about it you know this game is a game of you know just milliseconds. If your if your reaction is just a bit slower than that other person's, you're dead. You know this game. I feel like you turn corners and people. I mean, it's just ridiculous how quick you die in this game. Um, but I'm pretty sure I get the Moab here in a minute. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. It leaves like this reddish tint over the entire map, and it's kind of it's get out of the air. Uh -huh. <laughs> See, that is the kind of fight that you do not want to fight. There were like three guys there, and there's no reason for me to sit there and get killed. Um, I think I get it up here. I go up into this construction tower, and I think I get a guy over by the uh, helicopter building by the front door. Yeah, right here. Get it? Yeah, that's right. 24 point streak. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited. Uh, you know, the mobs, uh, it's such, you get such a great feeling when you call it in because it's not like Modern Warfare 3 where you could just run you know Harrier AC-130 nuke and get it every other game you know this this game it takes a ton more skill it takes a ton more um, you know knowing of the map you know you need to know the spawns that's another big thing about getting something like this is when you're running around when you're flanking when you're doing all that stuff you need to know the spawn points you need to be uh, you just need to have a really good awareness of map situation, where your teammates are, where the enemies are. If, if you know the enemies are spawning in one area, and you know your teammates are in another, you know, odds are that enemy team is going to be taking the most direct route or the highest traffic route over to the friendly teammates so you know you know they're going to be cutting through certain areas and if you can get there and cut them off or get in a position where you can shoot them in the side while they're running towards your team uh that, that's probably the best best way to do it uh, like i ruined my perfect game uh, i was so mad and then my teammate was like dude i got you and i was like great well i'm already dead <laughs> you know he was like uh 
But yeah, everyone in this lobby was real cool, except for the enemy team. Everyone on the enemy team reported me for cheating. And uh, so, I don't know if you know this, if you guys get reported for cheating, uh, in your leaderboards ranking, it shows you as not progressing. Not progressing. I can't remember what level I was at the end of this, uh, but I didn't. <laughs> I looked at my leaderboards like two hours later, and it still said I was the same level as I was at the beginning of this game. And it's because I was reported for cheating, and it was like they were still looking at it. But yeah, guys, that was my game. Uh, 31 and 1, uh, kill confirm game. I called in a mob. It was pretty exciting. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, Game Reviews and More. It's an sh amazing channel. It really gives a lot of people a good chance to get seen and put good content out. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, you know, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment and I'll try and get back to it. I'll try and keep an eye on this video. Um, I've also got tons of content on my channel, so make sure you check it out. It's Mr. DC Entertainment, and I hope you guys enjoyed.